Hi everyone, I want to talk to you today about something a little bit different, not the usual engineering application that we're talking about here with our 3D printers. Today we're talking about something that's from the medical sector and in particular from healthcare. We've got a range of parts in front of me here that have been printed either using the digital anatomy printer, DAP, or the J5 machine. So I'll take you through a few of the components now and talk to you about what they've been printed for and how they've been printed as well. So here we've got a part that's been produced to replicate a full knee joint as you can see here and this has been produced on the DAP machine. Now we're using specific materials that are very lifelike so we've got gel matrix and bone matrix which can be used to actually replicate the materials as you would have it. So that part there will be ideal for a study model, for teaching um, and also maybe for a pre-operative model. We've also on this side here got a full size uh, replica of a head with all soft tissue um, on this side here alongside slightly softer tissue here for the brain structure as well as all these vessels that have been produced through here and the bone areas as well on this part. So it gives you a real good representation of what the actual um, feel of the, um, the flesh and the bone would be. So for pre-operative planning and for training models it's absolutely perfect. So in front of me here we've got a range of models which have been used for either preoperative planning, training aids or um, for study models. So for instance we've got this part here which is a part of the spine area which is showing off the cartilage as you can see here in a softer material and also an area where the part was going to have the screws actually um, placed into the bone itself. Now you can see here we've created a, a structure here which is called bone matrix and this is giving you a very realistic feel of the actual internals of the actual bone structure itself. Um, this is all proprietary to, to Stratasys and using the GrabCAD software you can access this material structure. You can also see a similar um, style of bone structure has been applied in here so we've got the softer marrow area here and also using the technology it allows us to apply different materials as well to the surface so we could actually add in there some instructions um, for, um, for the person who's actually taking a look at that and um, some notes have been applied to that particular model as you can see. With the J55 in particular we've used the colour uh, capabilities so you can see on here we're using a transparent material here for this liver and also then um, the, uh, the coloured areas there for the vessels that are flowing through that particular liver area there. And this part here has been polished up to a lovely finish and it gives you a real um, idea of what's going on inside the actual um, item as you can see there. Quite a nice idea with this part here. This is a heart that we've printed um, and you can see that we've got the flexible material on this side giving us a great sort of feel for how the actual real part would feel. And on this side here we've actually used the colours to give a good indication of what the part would really look like in real life. We've just added in a few um, magnets into this part here just so you can actually connect the part together and view the part as a whole. You can see here for, for dental applications um, we've got a clear indication of where the nerve is going through here in the jawline. Um, so for any dental parts, you know, any dental uh, sorry, applications, this would be absolutely ideal for pre-operative planning for people to be able to, to think about where implants are going and, and things like that. So if you'd like to hear a bit more about the, the DAP machine, the digital anatomy printer, or the J5 Medijet, then please do get in touch, use the details in this post to contact us. Music